Hello, my little nerds and nerdettes. Please join us for another episode of <gasps> The Dungeon and Dungeons. Let's get ready to roll the dice. <laughs> Dungeon crawls. Oh, that was. Oh, hi. So, uh, I did this again. I fell off of a ladder last week, so I bruised my ego and my body. Uh, so I didn't really feel like sitting in a seat. So welcome back. Um. Uh, the group has made their way into a maze, uh, seeking the legendary sword and uh, chasing the withering hand. With clues, you're led below the maze. You made your way um, deep within the runes, uh, discovering a set of doors that every time you opened them, it seemed like the entire hallway would would shift and move. Um, you went into the doorway, walked for what felt like miles, only to end up at the same two doors. You opened the doors again, walked through, and same thing. About a half hour later or so, or whatever it seemed, all of a sudden, Morn and Freya began to act weird. Upon turning around, the eyes were pupilless, white. And they no longer spoke, but screeched and screamed at you as they attacked the party. A intense battle ensued between the party, Morn and Freya, um, almost resulting in some in some very dire casualties. Uh, but polymorphing and and kind of working away around. Some weird quirks, you manage to get these almost specter, ghost-like entities to release themselves from the body and be banished slash killed? You're unsure. Um, it's what ended with that kind of ending that combat sequence where... The party just drained and staring at each other, bloody and beat up. Alyssa, you found yourself in a giant throne room of sorts, staring at multiple doorways, colors of the rainbow, left to right, that almost seemed to shine in a sequence. And then every once in a while, they seemed to stop on a certain color. And they hovered there for about... Five minutes or so, as you sat in this this seat, um, and then from the corridors to your left and to your right, you hear numerous um, screeching and yelling. As, as it seems like multiple creatures or things are running down these corridors. So, um. Music going. Oh, from left to right, Alyssa, as you stare at these these dark colored doorways and you hear just screaming and yelling and talking and, and whatnot from both these directions, you have red from left to right, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. Every five minutes that you've been watching, so you've only watched it do two rotations, it seems to have stopped on a certain color for about five minutes. It's been about 10 minutes at this point, 11 minutes. It's stopped right now on blue. And you hear the yelling from the two corridors to your left and to your right. Okay. And it's getting closer. And it almost sounds like more are, are joining whatever's coming from both directions. And we'll say at this point, the colors start to shift again. The blue fades, and the it almost seems like they light up now in sequence for about 10 seconds. And it stops. This time it stops at yellow. Uh, 
Well, no point in thinking about it. Uh, don't exactly need company right now, so might as well just go ahead and do it. And uh, I will approach the yellow door and uh, attempt to open it. You open, and as you open the door, a gorgeous marble wall, intricately carved, almost looks like tile, like very nicely, perfectly set tile, is engraved on the walls and on the floor. Do you enter? Yes, I will walk through. Okay. Freya and the rest of the party. You have just got done beating the ever-living shit out of each other. And if Kaz hadn't polymorphed more and it would have been a TPK. <laughs> Call Kaz, you are hurt. Would have at least been a TKK. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We were doing least. some numbers. Right. Who's hurt? Uh, I think I th uh, I finished with um, Alwyn giving me touch hands for 40, I think. Or yeah. Somewhere close to that. So. Yeah. 45. I think. I think we had ended I, also. I'm at 45. Yeah, I, I might have been at zero. I was at zero. I gave you, I gave you 45. Okay. Um, so I'm probably the most hurt but i'm i'm not totally in dire straits i have 56 hp left because cast was being a brat um yeah at the end of last session um i had Freya grappled and i just kind of lied her down on the ground walked away from her and in a kind of a full-on rage just slammed my axe into the wall before kind of just crouching down against the wall and so Warren's probably about 30 feet away, just sitting there. He looks kind of lost. He looks fine, though. He doesn't look hurt. I'll probably look. Yeah, no shit. He's probably at full full health. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or close to as you As you come to and you begin to realize, Morn, your axe is pretty bloody. It's it's got a lot of human gore to it. Oh, um, now you know. Yeah. That's why he's upset. Yeah. Um, Freya, you do realize a lot of your arrows are scattered through the hallway. A lot of blood and gore attached to them. A couple are being plucked out of your teammates as we speak. Mostly Kaz. Yeah. She was a pin cushion. Whatever that thing was, too, was, like, talking to Freya. I kept saying, get the, the flying one, or whatever it was. Whatever it was saying about getting Kaz all the time. It wasn't necessarily talking to you. You just felt the urge to do it. Ah. Uh... And you couldn't control your body. It was almost like sitting in a passenger seat and just watching somebody else steer. Got it. So, I'll be kind of baffled and I'll go over to Morn and put my hand on his shoulder are you okay? he just kind of shakes his head is Kaz okay? I'm going to look over towards Kaz and Kaz is bloodied um so I will kind of just not knowing what to do and trying to gather what the hell just happened. Did whatever did that, is it gone? Is it still here? Do we know? I'm just speaking out into the air, by the way. And I'm not necessarily talking. I'm talking to everybody and nobody. One seems to be vanquished. The other seems to have fled. And then Hard it to tell. could come back and do that again. Possibly. 
what made it stop? How did how did we make it stop? By doing things that uh, rendered the vessels you two useless. I think it left once I had you help down. And the other left more than once he was. Well, uh, what did you turn Morn into again? Frog. Wasn't it a to frog? Okay. A toad, Once he'd yeah. been there, made a frog. So basically, when it found that we were no use to it anymore, it left? Seems that way. Hopefully, we should only have to worry about one. I'm going to walk over to Kaz and give her a pained hug. I hope you know that I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Yep. Kaz is like, I almost fucking died. I imagine is Kaz sitting against the wall, just like... Yep. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, I know that. Um... Do we want to take a short rest, or do we want to press on? Um... Well, I could use a short rest, given that I literally blew everything trying to kill Kaz. Um, I could use a short rest, because uh, I'm also a little bloodied. I've only got 56 HP left. That part was out of character, I guess. What's HP? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could use a short rest. You're speaking in riddles player. now. Yes. Hmm. A thing messed with my brain. I guess that's understandable. Any objections? Hey. <laughs> I'll stand watch, I suppose. You guys are going to lay down and take a short rest? Um, yeah, I'm hot, actually going to... If Morn is still over in the spot that he was at, I'm going to walk. Are you? Did you move? Yep. I haven't moved. Okay. I'm going to walk back over to Morn. Um, are you standing, kneeling, sitting? Uh, I'm sitting. My knees are like almost up against my chest, leaning back against the wall. I'm going to sit against the wall next to him. Hey, it was really shitty, but it's not your fault. Neither of us wanted to do that, and you can't you can't beat yourself up about it. I know. I said I would never do that again. Here I am, turning against him the worst thing I'd ever done before. But you couldn't help it. Why is it always us? Uh, Why that's are a we the good ones point. that always lose our minds and attack our friends? I don't know. But you're right, it always does seem like it is us. I guess the others have higher mental fortitude. I took the pack. <laughs> they're, they're smarter than me, that's for sure. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know what it is that makes them more guarded and makes us more susceptible to stuff like that, but 
all you can do is just try as hard as you can not to let it happen, but you also can't beat yourself up if it does, because it was out of your control. I'm sure Kaz doesn't hold it against you. I don't think I could live with Mesa if I had killed her. I know what you mean, but you didn't. She's okay. We should try and get some rest so that we can get out of here. We don't know where. We're still here. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even know what they were. I. Like flew into the wall or something. It sounds like or there's only one left, but we have to make sure that we're ready and able if it comes back. Or at least try and get out of here as quickly as possible. It's gonna go for me again. Yeah, but we at least know how to stop it. I mean, there's only one, yeah. Kaz can just turn you into a toad again and it'll go away. Toad? Was I aware that I was a... Was, do I have memory of being a toad? Yeah. Since? Oh, yeah. I do. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I guess so. I felt even more useless as a toad. Well, given the circumstances, that was okay. Because you weren't... The thing wasn't interested in staying inside of your mind anymore. I guess we know what to do. Know what to do if it happens again. Exactly. It'll be okay. We're ready for it this time. If it does come back. I'm going to lean back and rest a little bit so I can regain some Same. hit points. I don't need much, but I might roll a one or two. No, just one. About an hour and a half goes by, roughly. He's sitting there relaxing. Alwyn's taking a vigilant watch. <laughs> 53! Alwyn, are you looking from where you came from or towards where you're walking? I am... I'm just trying to, like, to, you know, tune into the sounds of the environment. So I'm listening for things coming one way or roll, another. Roll a... Roll a perception check. Yeah. These ears, they hear everything. You hear walking. From where you guys were walking. A little ways away. Far way away. Be here walking down the hallway. Light light footsteps. Something's coming. Sounds does it can I tell if it sounds like humanoid footsteps? With a natural twenty? Yes. But sounds no. So it doesn't sound. It's both. It sounds humanoid. Ish. Definitely something bipedal. Two legs.
Eyes up, Getting everyone. closer. Something's coming. Already my axe. It's on the ground. I'll tap Fran on the shoulder if she's asleep. I don't know if she's napping or not. Yeah, I would have been napping. I, I imagine that we're probably a good 30 feet away. Yeah. So I wasn't really paying attention. But it's yeah, towards you... the end of like your long, like your 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 rest. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll tap you on the shoulder. Go heal Alvin. I'll probably stand up at that point. All right, I will ready the bow then, and ready an attack action if anything appears that takes a attacking action towards anyone. Okay. Alyssa, you're walking down the hallway. <laughs> and it's quiet. Eerily quiet. More than you would appreciate. You feel like you've been walking for two hours. Three hours. You're not sure. It's been a long time. No sounds just the repetitive motion and clacking of floor. Same landscape that's been going on and on and on and you begin to get worried that you're going in circles or you'll find nothing at all. Roll a perception check. Okay. Your movement up ahead, shuffling, an axe, scrap it, or like some piece of metal, scrape against the ground. You hear a bow get notched. You hear things down the hallway. You're unsure what. About 150 feet ahead of you. And there's like, it's not like straight ahead. It kind of like curves around a little bit and you begin to see shadows. Would I be able to perceive anything you don't see anything you hear somebody mm -hmm. about 150 feet away it. yeah it's getting awfully close 100 feet 90 feet yeah. are you still going Alyssa I'll stop at uh 60. Okay. It's like right around this bend. It's like it's a slight bend around, but enough that you can see the shadow of about three figures. One large shadow with that with a 23, one large shadow holding an axe, one mediumish mediumish slim figure looks to be some kind of bow or something arced back. And then a sword, double-handed sword. Are you doing one or two-handed? It's one-handed with the shield out. In front so one-handed with the shield, and it seems to be kind of standing off to the side. It, it almost looks like just like one big shadow, though. So you're not sure. I'm just checking something. Like when you're a kid and you see the shadows, and it's like the shadow of three of them combined to be like a yeah. big monster with a thing with a yep. giant oh, arm holding, and he's yeah he's sure, yeah he's holding like a big ass shield so yeah there's no light it just looks like a big blob i'm gonna cast gust and um 
I'll seize the air and uh, I'm gonna 30 feet away. That's the maximum range down where I see those uh, figures. I'm gonna kick up a large dust cloud and see how they react. So you seize the air and compel it to create one of the following effects. <sighs> no. So you are... Okay, so you create a harmless sensory effect using air such as leaving the rustle, wind to slam, shutters closed, or rippling the breeze. Yeah, he said he was doing like a, a dust cloud. Okay. So you guys are standing there and all of a sudden like... Wind out of nowhere begins to and like blast up, and like the the minor pebbles and like dust that's on the floor kind of kicks up into the air around you and swirls for about a second, and then drops. I'm gonna take like three steps back, but like increase my stance. Peer into okay. the dark. I'm gonna move to the side. So that I can see, I don't know how big this dust cloud is. I'm gonna see if I can see around it where that hall is. But also looking at the dust cloud to see if anything manifests in it. Nope. I'm expecting a phantom to come flying at us. It's back. It's back. You see, Morn's kind of starting to almost panic. Roll another perception check, Alyssa. What manner of sorcery is this? You hear muffled something. Back. They didn't do this before. Back. Sounds oddly familiar, but you can't quite place it. I'm almost out to be a... Beer. Show yourself. Uh, can I do this? Show yourself. Drink it. Temporarily enlarge my vision cone to see out to where the figure is. Right around the corner, you get an outline of an, a figure. Hmm. They seem familiar. Actually, no. Hold on. I, did I, did, I, I stopped 60 feet away, and I am an undead. Yeah, but look at the first line. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you get a sweet pungent odor kind of a mixture between heavenly and noxious but it's, it's just like almost like bo but like oh, the good bo it's like those glad trash bags it's like you have yeah. really shitty trash in it but you have that like but sweet it's like smelling it's like a nice little whiff trash so bag like, it's just like yes yeah, so, floral shit yeah, smell so you, you 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 notice whatever this is around the corner but you don't get your normal, like, incredibly pungent, mm. disgusting smell. You get kind of a mix. Shut up, Martin. Tell, tell her to go in the other room. I'm just kidding. I see you smiling off your eye. I was reading chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. You get kind of like a mixture. Like, there's a little meh behind it. But you're like... Still smells good. What the fuck? And you're confused and perplexed. But about 60 feet around the corner, there's something standing there. 
And it's not in a battle stance, but it's definitely tensed Guarded. and prepared. Yes, ah, uh, yeah. You guys, don't tell me you haven't heard of the good BO. Like, there's, you love it on your man or your woman, and it's like that little, like that BO that you're kind of like, hmm, I like that. I guess. What do you mean is that real, it's like, Auntie? It, it's, it's real. It's like musty with an oaky finish. Yeah. I mean, that's, that, that, that turns me <laughs> on the most. Give me that natural scent, baby. The musk. Give me that musk. That, like, post-workout. It's the Viking in me. The, vi <laughs> the Viking the Viking in me is looking for that natural musk. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm going to willingly choose to take so it's like... six mental damage for this <laughs> Six. Take it, baby. Oh, jeez. Roll it. Roll it. What? Well, roll it. 46 How much mental roll damage it. am I taking? You said forty-six, right? When, when roll I it. fourteen. When uh, when Alwyn Damn. met when Alwyn met Alyssa, he you I used divine sense mm -hmm. on her. Yeah, and you, you said the, he said the same, the same thing. thing. Yeah, you got okay. like a neutral feeling last time. Yeah, you got yeah. like a weird in between. Get like, floral shit. It wasn't like chaotic mm. evil. But there was just something wrong, but you couldn't figure it out what or why. But ultimately, you got a good vibe. It mm. just was like in the middle, and you were like, what the fuck is this? Nice. Usually for you, it's been one or the other. Like, you've never had it in between. You've always had mm. one or the other, and it's been very black and, or black and white. You've never had a gray. And so, like... That first time you were just kind of like interesting, hell? but now I'm like, oh, yeah, this is there's only one possibility, unless. Ooh, hold on, Corey's seeping pheromones. Yeah, yeah, yes. Bruh. <laughs> Continue. I apologize. I digress. I digress. I've had a I've had a crawler, so I'm feeling pretty good. Let's go. Hmm. Continue. Strange um, that I'd, strange that I would find such an unfamiliar, or rather, unique uh, aura in such a place as this. And I'm kind of shouting this down the hallway to where the figure is. Well, uh, another perception check with advantage because he's shouting at this time. Or proje projecting my voice to to reach the person down there. You don't necessarily recognize who it is, but at the same time, it's oddly familiar, Alyssa. Like oddly familiar. Like you you kind of know who it is. You 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 think you know who it is, but you're kind of like. Mm -hmm. Because it's still about 60 feet away. Yeah. And you did take 14 points of mental damage, so. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're, you're like, you definitely got like that little bit of blood. Just a little bit. Itty bitty nosebleed. Just itty. Uh, I'll, I'll continue to creep along the wall um, as far as I can without revealing myself. And once I get to a point where I feel like I can't creep along anymore, I'll I'll shout back down the hall. Um, is it is that who I think it is? Um, Alwyn, was it? So about thirty six feet away, you hear a you hear a slight voice from around a corner. And it's just like a slight bend, like you kind of see the outline of the body, like just the mm -hmm. edge of the shadow. You don't. Well. You see, like, the aura a little bit. Yeah. The rest of the party, I think, Morn and Frey, you, you guys see just barely, like, like the edge of, a, like, a shoulder, kind of, like, in, like, the maybe, like, a, like, a little bit of the tip of a nose, and you kind of hear a voice. You're the... the one who came back from the dead. Aren't you? Uh, yes, uh, that would be me. That would be me. And I'll walk out into the open. Okay. Alyssa walks into the middle of the hallway. Y 
You guys can vis like audibly hear Morn start breathing angrily. His veins popping out of his body. You can perchance understand our reason to be defensive. Of course. Why I was the exact same way, but uh, it's good to see you again, holy warrior. The uh, the winds are bringing you good fortune, it seems. <laughs> Your trick didn't work. I'm sorry. Your trick didn't work. I'm still here. We're all still here. That that's good to hear. I'm glad that you're all still alive. I pick up my axe and I start moving toward Alyssa. I'm gonna start backpedaling, like put my hands up, like I'm... stay hey, no. away. All right, I will. And I'll back up until I'm thirty feet away. I keep I keep moving. I'm picking up pace. <laughs> um, I would. I'll step between them if I can catch up. Uh, I think I was closer to the edge than Morn was to start. But no, um, I think Alyssa was coming from that side, from the side that Freya and I were on. Yeah, but Kaz flew all the way down the tunnel that way. Um. So I, I'll. I mean, I'll run if I have to, but I'd. I'd like to put myself between and just say, I don't want to do this right now. I don't want to be here anymore. Can we just go? Once we deal with her. Did you have anything to do with those phantoms? Do you know anything about that? Of course you did. I'm um, going to try and move forward and push guys off to the side. Make a contested roll. While they're rolling, um, I was... Speaking to Alyssa, asking if she had. Yeah, I yeah. Just want to see what happens here first. Oh, okay. Cash, you just literally get manhandled. Like he doesn't, he doesn't shove you aside and walk by. He literally presses you to the wall with one hand and just like, like stiff arm holds you to the wall and walks by. I'm going yeah, to continue tracks. backpedaling, staying thirty feet away as I'll reply. Um, no, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I was preoccupied. Um, I found, um, I like to imagine I'm continuously going higher and higher so that I can still, like, speak to Freya as I'm backpedaling. Yeah. So my, I'm just speak, speaking louder You're louder. going from, like, a, like a, like a normal talk to a higher talk to, like, kind of yelling to, like, yelling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I found the, uh, the never-ending smile, I think he called himself, and we uh, had a bit of a tussle. And as you can see, she is injured. She did take one hit during that battle. Um, yep. So she does display visible injury. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to procure the sword from him, uh, but I did force him to run away. Morn's still walking forward. Yeah, I'm still yeah. backpedaling. Yep. Hey, Morn's in kind oh, of like a, like, a, like a brisk walk, and like... You're you're keeping pace with that brisk walk by like a brisk back pedal. So yeah. like there's a constant thirty feet and they're starting to move away from the rest of the group. Like she's moving further on down the, the, um, the tunnel and yelling and Morn is still walking towards her. I'm I'm moving in to intercept. Hold on, you say you found the sword. They're still moving. I'm, yes. uh, Morn, I'm are you are you Morn stepping in between up. them or no? I'm going to try to get in between them. By Morn takes off at a sprint and is going to swing his axe about ten feet away from Alyssa into the ground. So Alwyn, as you go to step in front of Morn to intercept, he takes kind of like a power push off of his right foot and like closes the gap by about ten feet, and within that twenty ten feet from Alyssa, you just. <laughs> And the axe lands on the ground right in front. And Morgan just kind of looks defeated. He's just like, why are you doing this? Why do you torture me like this? I'll continue to back up until I'm 30 feet away again. And I'll, with my hands still held up in protest or in defense. Um, I, I'm not sure what you mean. Um, but to answer your question... Um, Alwyn, yes, I think I found it. It it looked to be of very fine craftsmanship from what I could see, so I would have to assume that that was the sword in question. We 
should. That's kind right. of what we are looking for. And I kind of turn towards Kaz and Elwyn and Freya. We should leave. Kind of pushing you guys away from Melissa. I haven't moved. Um, I still have... I have my bow down, but I have an arrow notched in it. And I just have eyes locked on Alyssa. Kind of just listening and analyzing. But I haven't said or anything or moved at all. She does look visibly injured. She has a cut on her left... Or... Right shoulder and left hip. I'm gonna try and like push Elwyn away from Melissa and down the hallway. I'll just kind of like, like, like not, but like kind of go back with him, but kind of roll out of it. Yeah, it's not really a push. It's more just like a, a suggestion to walk this way. Okay. Now. That thing where yeah. you walk, somebody's pushing with you and you let them push you a little bit, but then you kind of roll to the side and let them walk past you. Exactly. Yeah. I'm just... So as he does that, like, Alwyn kind of rolls around and is now in front of you, closer to yeah. Alyssa, and you kind of, like, do, like, that quick little walk by about a step or two. I'm going to walk, like, ten feet more and then look at Kat and see what she's doing. Um, I think I'm just going to, um, have a sort of silent conversation, uh, with my staff, and I want to cast, um, I have to find the spell. God, I'm so powerful. I have so many spells. It's hard to find one. <laughs> God, man, I'm so powerful. Such a burden. Oh, here we go. Such a burden. Uh, I want to just find huge, the path. Thick, leathery spell book. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Where are you setting the find the path to? So I, we still want to go to um, Scepter. So I just want to find the safest path there. Do you five have... paths appear in your mind? What materials are you using? Uh, it's for my staff. Yeah. Oh, so cool. he he can use. Oh a, yeah. yeah. Well, the... um, five five paths yeah, appear guess... before you. Uh, one of them is actually right behind Alyssa and to the left. Um, another one seems to continue on farther down and then disappears for some reason, and then you're not sure about the other t three. It kind of gets weird. Okay. Something just seems off. How much does Alwyn know about this legendary sword? Not much. Not more than the tales. It was crafted by the gods and used in the like in the holy wars between the gods. Um, it was created to deal with the undying one his in his first appearance uh, a part of an essence of the god was given to mankind that crafted the sword well i wouldn't necessarily know any more about it than anyone else no morin is clearly mm -hmm. standing in a position that's going to see which way kaz wants to go and and you're quite sure that this was the sword that we set out to look for. Addressing Alyssa. I'm fairly positive. Hmm. As you cast the Find the Path, Kaz, a door appears next to Alyssa, kind of behind her and to the left. You see an oak door almost appear. Oh. Yeah. It's 
surprise! A door appeared to your left behind Alyssa. Um, and you see like a large oak door. Um, I'll just sort of point, look at the group, and say that this is this is our way. Is that the direction of Alyssa? Right next to her, basically. Yeah, trust her more than me. Makes sense, I just detect. And I'm gonna walk past Kaz and down the tunnel the opposite way. Like away then, from the door? Yeah, and then when I'm like 40, 50 feet, I'll just yell back. At least I can't hurt you this way. Let her kill you off. And then I'm gonna keep walking. Wait, so you went the wrong way? I'm walking away from Alyssa. So you didn't go down the doorway that... Oh, okay. You said 40 or 50 feet? Well, that's when I turned back and said that, but I'm still walking. Okay. After about 55 feet, the hallway comes to an end. Okay, yeah, I'll just sit down. Can we still see Morn? No. Seeing him, I mean, if I had seen him go down that hall as he was starting to get out of view, I would have followed behind him. Would have uh, put my bow and arrow away and just followed him. After reaching the dead end, <sighs> we have to get out of here. And this dead end's not going to get us there. If the way Alyssa came from is the way to that legendary weapon we're looking for, then we should see if we can get it. Or into strikes. Not going with her. First she tries to kill us. Realizes she can't. And now she just is gonna use us to get to the sword. Who said that we have to give it to her? She knows she where it is. We don't know how powerful it is. She just took over both of our minds. I don't want anything to do with her. She's lucky I don't kill her right now. Only reason I don't is I think Kaz and Alwyn would actually try and stop me. I don't know if she had anything to do with those things. But we can always just head down the tunnel. Alyssa was in Jupiter. We left her there. She didn't know we were going. All of a sudden, we lose our minds, nearly kill each other, and boom, who's here? Alyssa? In a tunnel that we could only find with a secret map? She followed us here and tried to kill us. Hearing Morn say that, the those puzzle pieces will kind of come together just with him saying that you know she showed up kind of at the perfect or the imperfect time so I'll probably just stare at the ground and kind of be lost in thought for a moment thinking about it As you say that, at the end of the tunnel, about 20 feet away from you, where the tunnel just seems to end, mourn, you see a face peek through. White, gauche, spectral-looking face, semi-injured, and it just looks at you and screeches. 
back away from the wall. Can I see Going it? Going back into the wall. Yeah. Does this Wolf look anything did. like the thing that came out of Freya? Exactly. And it moves against the wall and you can see like the like you know the horror movies where like the face is in like the wall and the like the wall kind of comes out a little bit mm. it heads down the wall what is the what was the marching order now so it was Alyssa, alwyn kaz, kaz. and we'll say jason jason and then you two at the end of the hall right yeah i mean yeah we're probably what seven sixty feet away out of, out yeah, because you said he would... went down that hallway about 30 feet or so, at least. It's back. It's back. And Morn looks even more scared and then starts running away from the wall. About 15 feet. I know you're looking for something, Ginger, but I actually want to try to shoot an arrow at it if I can. Go ahead. Alright, there. You want me to roll to hit? I'm not gonna use my feet. That that that's what that's what was in you. 18? No matter what happened, it ricochets off the wall. You hit directly where the face is, and move. it just ricochets off the wall, and it Get keeps moving the down the hallway. Does it move past us? Yeah. Kaz, roll a charisma saving throw. <laughs> As all of a sudden something reaches out of the wall and you all at the last second see this creature just and like launches itself at Kaz and Kaz you turn just in time to see this face and body reach out and touch you oh no, oh, no. I was like I got really good charisma <laughs> Kaz do you still in have 40 eyes do you still only have 45 back. HP no did you hear? Oh, you short rest. Mm -hmm. <sighs> As your eyes roll back into your your head, and you that's calm, a terrible time for a one. And you calm and at peace. And the rest of the party, you see white-eyed pupil and turns, kill the party, Kaz. It's in, it's in Kaz. Alyssa, you're standing there, like hands up, and you watch this thing like fall out of the wall, and in like in like a like a like a second, you watch as Kaz turns, and it just falls onto Kaz. Okay. Hold on, Ooh. roll initiative. Oh, this is gonna get spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it spicy? I have, I have advantage on this one. Oh shit, initiative. Let's go! Let's go! Somebody messed with my. Why is it not playing? Fucking binder. I feel like my children were in my room. Yup. Not feeling this. Oh wait, no, I had to give her a chance. Oh yeah. I gotta pee. I got excited. Uh, <laughs> Kaz, you get a surprise around. Because it just jumped into you and you have like one second to do whatever you want real quick. Do your worst, Kaz. 
You're powerful, you have lots of spells to look through. Uh, <laughs> um... Can I... Are, is everyone in sight? Of me? Yes. Let's look at some 22. Uh, Warren gets an 18. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm going to start with... Crown of Stars. Oh, no. <laughs> um, yes. Give me the spicy. Yes. So, so I'll do that. I, I don't know who. Everyone should be in range because they're 120 feet. The range is 120 oh, yeah. feet. I'd say at most we would, ma myself and more, maybe be like 40 feet maximum, I think, from you. Um. Do I, do I have a sense of, of, and do any of these people, do I have a sense of who I want to hit with this first? Any everything is an enemy. D do I remember? Roll a dice, Dick Kaz. Do, do Do I remember what had happened previously? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I like I don't have Kaz's memory of the last two hours. No, it's blank. Okay. Then I will fly. I think we said this roof is about twenty feet. Yep. Um. I'll. Actually, I don't want to do that yet. Sorry. I will do Crown of Stars. I will hit Freya with it. As a bonus action, I will throw one of them at her. So you're going to hit me with it and bonus action throw one at me? Um, I, I'll use an action to cast it on myself. Oh, so that I'll get I'll get the seven stars that surround me, um, and then as a bonus action I'll I'll throw. Actually, um, use a bonus action to. Yeah, I do have to use a bonus action even on the turn I cast it. So, I'll do that. Uh, it will be an eighteen to hit. That hits. Okay. Only 12 damage. Okay. 12 uh, radiant damage. Okay. And let me just make sure. I think I have to use a bonus action to initiate flight. Yeah. Um, is anyone right next to me? All one. I think I'm going to step back away from them just with my feet. <laughs> um, so if I guess if Alwyn wants to take an opportunity of t attack um, or is of the mind to do so, that's okay. Uh, Alwyn, you watch as Kaz begins casting multiple spells. And a bunch of stars appear above his head. His eyes are glazed over white. And he is screeching at the party. And starts taking steps back while casting spells. How you doing? Hello? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, my screen just was like, 
to go. He froze. He died. Hmm. That's a 26 average damage on 4d12. That's really shit roll to get 12 on 4d12s. <laughs> I need to be happy. What are you doing, all I mean, I'm, I'm happy. So, I will... Uh, raise my sword towards where the heavens would be and say, My lady of the night, bind this vessel so that we may excise the evil that has taken root within. And I will... Use my okay, nature's anything. wrath. It's just a hit. What? It's just an attack of opportunity. The the question to you oh, is... Oh, I thought it was it, my turn. No, no, no the no, question no, to you is, I, I'm going to step away from you in, as my first action, or the okay. not my first action, but the first thing I do. The question to you is, would you in that situation take an opportunity to attack or not? Would I be able to get a sense that Something has has changed, Kaz. I mean, you've White seen this. Screamed, threw yeah, a star you saw, at me. You saw this, yeah, you saw this before with, uh, with Morn and 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 Freya. Doesn't the aura change too? Yeah. Yeah. The aura completely disappears. Question: okay. With the Sorry, I thought it was my turn. Opportunity no worries, attack. No, Is it's literally just an attack action, right? He can't use it to like Correct. grapple or anything. Okay. Uh, no. no. I don't believe yeah, I'll so. I'll go for a strike. Okay. <laughs> that hit, Kaz? Uber hits. The one handed, so. Plus. Five, so seven. Is that your turn? All done? Uh, yes. I'll I'll take my full movement backwards. Yep. I'll be 30 okay. feet back. Sure. Freya, as you get slammed from the side by this radiant star, you see Kaz backing away, and you see Alwyn kind of off to the side, just and rake out towards one of the shoulders as blood splatters and hits the marble wall. Uh, How many steps back did you take Kaz. 30 so they would be 65 feet from you roughly okay so in that case question um I believe I already know the answer to this Zephyr Strike it's a bonus action it basically gives me advantage on when weapon attack but also increases my movement speed by 30 I don't okay. believe I have to use an attack to use it because it's just basically saying I'm using a bonus action to give myself movement and advantage on my attack. I believe so, yeah. Uh, you know, I'll post it, just in case. So basically, I'm using it not to make an attack. I'm just wanting to get that movement speed, basically. Yeah, it's, oh, a, it's a, it's a yeah, concentration up to one minute. Here's the other question. Whether you uh, hit or miss, your walking speed increases by 30 feet until the end of that gives turn. Gives you advantage on one weapon attack. Okay, so it wouldn't work if I wanted to grapple. Um, okay, so if so, if she's within 65 feet of me, I could move 60 feet. Am I then technically in range to grapple? Yeah, because you'd be within five feet. Okay, sweet. Yeah. So I'm going to do that using my bonus action, Zephyr Strike. I'm going to move 60 feet. Yes, 30 feet. So you guys okay, watch as Freya just all of a sudden Matrix style just and like takes off and like up the wall. And like down, passing people, and just slides in next to Kaz, and just. And uh, yeah, I would like I would like to use my action to grapple. Okay, 
So, your strength or athletics versus Kaz's strength or athletics. Strength or acrobatics, you mean? I believe uh, so, yeah. Sh she's got to use strength, right? Yeah, I was gonna... Yeah, because I'm not being dexterous. I'm just trying to grab. Yeah, it's strength or athletics. Fuck! I mean, it's basically the same thing. With a negative one, come on. Yes! Yeah. She slides in next to you, kind of kicks your heels so you're off balance, and stands up and slides, like, her arms up and under, so you kind of, like, like <laughs> does, like, a full Nelson and just holds you. And then I'm just going to whisper in her ear, snap out of it. And unfortunately, unlike the rest of us, Kaz is a fucking caster and doesn't need to move... Or swing her arms to attack us. So, uh, we'll see how this goes. And with that, being that I have her grappled, I will end in my turn. Okay. Alyssa. You watch all this go down. She would be very apprehensive about hitting anyone. Or... <laughs> <laughs> You're in such a bad place. For the consequences that may follow, so she'll just pass her turn. Like, <laughs> go team, go! Go team, go! But, but that's also not good, because it seems like you're just complicit, complicit in the whole thing. In her or defense, like I would do the same thing. I'd be like, up against the wall, and I'd be like, I guys, will. deal with that shit. You deal with that shit. <laughs> Demons. It's like damned if you do, damned if you water. don't. Yeah. Morn. Holding the crucifix up. <laughs> Please. The power of Christ compels you to stay the fuck away from me. Corey would like us to pause the game while he makes a work call. <laughs> no. <laughs> Too bad. That plan to going better at 11 o'clock. Morn, you're uh, spam. Okay, I would like to rage. As part of my rage, I can move up to half my speed. Which gives yep. me 60 feet of movement. So right up next to him. Enough to get in range of Alyssa, and I will swing my great axe. Uh, Alyssa's farther. Alyssa is with the right with them. I thought, no. I thought, oh, Alyssa's I an extra like 30 feet. Attack. I won't rage then. I will just... I, I thought Alyssa was by Alwyn. Yeah, I thought they no, were all right. Alyssa's, Alyssa's another 30 feet beyond Alwyn. Okay. So from you, she would be... Oh, I guess like that's true. Cause 70, she... 80 feet? She didn't like yeah, necessarily come down of, to the group. Um, instead of raging, I will merely... Um, I will move and then dash, which will get me 80 feet of movement. So then, yeah, you're right up in Alyssa's face. <gasps> And I will swing my great axe. <laughs> so that's a... It's not advantage. I don't know why it rolled with disadvantage, but it's a 23 to hit. So you... How, how do, she are you say, dashing with here. the bonus action? How are you getting the dash? The dash is my bonus action. How? Is that part of your rage? Oh, no, I can't do that. You can't um, do that. As you, I'm like, I was trying to piece that together, and I'm like, wait a second, hold on. Well, okay. If I can't, if I can't you, get in, range you got rogue brain right now. Yeah. <laughs> if I can't get in range of Alyssa, no. So is Alyssa next to me and Freya now? She's another Cause I, cause like thirty I'm, feet beyond she's that. Farther away. Yeah. Oh, she. Oh, she thirty feet beyond Why don't we us? drop she our tokens? That would probably she help. She was, yeah. She tokens. was continuing to like keep that distance. And when you walked away right. 40, 40 to 50 feet... Well, then I shouldn't even be able to see Alyssa then. She's around the corner. Yeah. Y you would know she was there, but she may be not. Yeah. That yeah. Um, okay, well, I'll, I'll just... I'll move 60 feet. Um, rage. And pretty much be in Alyssa's face. I'm like... You're pretty away. close. Probably about yeah. 20 feet. You're like 20 feet away. Clearly about so to like, attack her. Jen, do you have like a random dungeon map yeah. or something you throw on here that way we can kind of that way or we can orientate blank. and not keep asking yeah. and forgetting a blank map would be good enough yeah oh i will do here's the oh 
hallway. Windows. And it like goes around. Ah, that's like. Like goes around like that. This is like right here ish. Ping that again, sorry. Like where that little red dot is. Oh, I got you. Roughly. Like, yeah, you guys, you just kept backing around that corner. Yeah, he told me to back off earlier, so I made I made sure I was consistently 30 feet away from anyone. So yeah, where was so, like, the other hall then? Was it on the opposite side? Or yeah, where, from the direction like, we where Morn where, where Morn was. So, like, back that way. And that hallway's kind of big, but... We already followed yeah. the ghost. We were following the ghost back toward the party. Yeah, but when the ghost... You, you had started that. You'd only made it about five feet before it took over Kaz. Oh, the thing is fast. Yeah, it's super fast. Um, yeah, I'll just move up to here then. Yeah. So, so Alwyn should be this on this side of us, right? Well, I was close to Alyssa. I was talking yeah. to her. He was about 30 feet from Alyssa. Okay. Like 20, 30 feet, roughly. Oops. Whoa, you guys all seem to have a good understanding of how this happened, and I do not for some I reason <laughs> so this is good <laughs> what did i what did i just do i just fucked up my interface here but i do that it makes sense i was far enough away um yeah because you had gone after you stopped talking and you walked away oh. you said you went about 45 50 feet yeah and you went down the other hallway like back the hallway is this and then sat down um, what's that? One sec, one sec. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't have this weapon equipped, so I will not do that. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. I'm pretty sure. That would have been cool. Are you talking about the, the frost one? The yeah. throwing? Yeah. Yep. Uh, Kaz, you're up. I think we skipped all one. Yeah, we did. I didn't even write him in. Yeah, what the fuck? Shut up. You don't matter. But also, fuck that guy. Who I cares? was a 14 <laughs> initiative. Owen. You don't matter. Honor is yeah. better. Yeah, 14 was second to last, dog. <laughs> useless turn the faithless sucks <laughs> turn undead is way better trash hmm What you doing, Alwyn? Uh... I'll look to Morn and say, What are you doing? We need to help Kaz. If there is something that she has to do with this, we can deal with her later. Right now, I need you to focus. Any response? Doesn't seem like it. Or he might have. AFK. Michael, if you're there, you're muted. Yeah, I'm here. No, you don't have a response to that. No.
Mm. Let's see. Okay. I'll come over to Kaz. And just be like, Be gone, foul demon! And go for a strike. This is a 26 hit. Yep. Okay, so that's two hands. Uh, I didn't just clear two handed, so I'll roll. Handed. And I'll add Divine Smite to that. Give it a little extra oomph. I'll just burn it first level. Plus an extra six radiant damage. Um, I'm sorry, what was the total? Uh, so, 21? 21, yeah. A real kick in the knackers, bro. Okay. A turn all one? Uh, and I'll go again. I'm all like. Try to smack her on the head with the flat of the blade. 16 hit? It does not. As the first strike pierce, or like, like slashes and then like a burst of energy hits uh, Kaz, you go to turn around and turn the blade flat side and smack her in the head. And she just kind of like rolls the head at the last second. You almost hit um, Freya. Hmm. Um, I would just like to secure my grapple. I don't know if that's like a. I just want to make sure I've got a really good hold of her. Yeah, you still got her. Okay. So then. I kept looking for it. And I don't think it's going to help anyways. It doesn't matter. Um, well, it's not your turn. You said Freya. Nope. I said she almost hit Freya. Oh! Like when Alwyn missed. I didn't uh. hear that part. Okay. My bad. Um. Um. If it's Alwyn's... me after Alwyn, right? Yes. Well. Shit. Maybe I should have cast this at the beginning of the turn. But oh well. I'm going to do it anyway. Good. Castings. Uh, I'll uh, raise my sword and say, Come forth, my ancestors. Protect me. I call forth uh, dancing elven spirits that flit around me and kind of puff in and out of, like, vaporous forms. Okay. You just start kind of like, they just like, all of a sudden you watch as like these like, elven, undead, slash, like, mm -hmm. alive-looking spirits rise from the ground and begin to dance. They're, like, made of moonlight. Okay. Cass, you're up. Full spell. And, uh, Cass will have speed reduced by 10 feet to the start of my next turn. Oh, yeah, that 1d8 would have been nice. Yeah. Um, that's okay. I will cast Steelwind Strike. Um, in case you want to see it. And I'm going to just grab a dagger from my cloak that I 
have maybe used once during the whole campaign. And I'm going to attack. I'm going to bamf to Morn first. While grappled? It's a teleport. Fuck. Yeah. Um, I just had it. Where did it go? Uh, plus 12. So I'll I'll try to stab Morn first. It's a 17 to hit. Morn? Uh, 17 does hit. Forty-eight force damage. All of a sudden, just and you're like, oh, and like in the kidney, Kaz just standing like below you, just dagger all the way to the hilt, all the way in. Uh, then I will come back to Freya. The twenty-two. Kaz is gonna merge the what? party. Yes, that hits. <laughs> Uh, 41 force. <gasps> and then I will bamf behind Alwyn. Uh, 17 nope. probably misses Alwyn. Um, oh, ouch! Miss there. I, I sense you teleporting behind me. You shield. sense the aura at the last second and just like shield down just in time. Um, then oh, I will, fuck. at the end of that spell, um, I'm back to be next to Morn. And I will use my movement to get, I guess I could go, I'm trying to calculate a hypotenuse here in my head. I guess I can go 20 feet up and I'm just gonna move over here. So if Morn wants to take an opportunity of attack and he has a reaction, he I'll, I'll take it. Uh, yeah, 27 will hit for sure. And you are then held in place by Sentinel. Sentinel. Ooh. Oh, you dick. Oh. Ah. God damn it. What a waste. <laughs> All right. You did a lot of damage to everybody. That was pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I can go for damage too. Yeah, yep. let me know. When are we going to see when are we going to see that come out in an actual like not you fighting us battle? Nine slashing. Um, and then I will use my bonus action to, yeah, I guess Freya, I'm going to try to hit Freya with another star. <laughs> it's an attack roll. Uh, yes. I would use my reaction to use my interception fighting style, so I'll reduce the damage by this much. 29 does hit. Or is that the damage? It's a, it's I'll, re hit. I'll reduce it by... I'll be able to reduce it by 14. Oh, that's good. So, 9. 9 damage. Tonku! So you managed to get the shield up in time but it glances off the top of the shield and like kind of nicks the top of the head taking off a little bit of the scalp but before that Kaz is held up in a full Nelson style and you watch as all of a sudden a dagger appears out of the coat and drops in front of her face and as you drop you're like what the fuck and then all of a sudden she's like so and behind Morn and then, like, like, ah, uh, I can't remember what that movie is, but, like, drops the dagger and, like, turns, grabs the dagger again and oh, behind Freya. And you watch a slash behind the back. And as she slashes and drops, she sh and dodges again. And this time, uh, Alwyn is ready and just barely gets the shield. And you hear, like, a sh like, metal on metal. And then, like, grabs the dagger again and sh Bams back next to Morn as, as she bams. Morn, in mid swing, catches her off guard and manages to glance along the thigh, and kind of holds her in place as she like st uh, stumbles down and like lands to a knee. And as she lands to a knee, she 
peeks up and stares right at Freya, and you watch as one of the stars takes off. And at the last second, Alwyn just manages to get the shield up with a forearm, and it glances off the top of the shield and hits Freya on the top of the head. Did you make a concentration check? Oh, yeah. Because in your crown of stars. Uh, crown of stars is, is not concentration. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think so, because it was still up when you went down at one point. Yep. But the yeah. other one uh, is... Find the path is... Uh, 21. I'm good. Freya, you're up. <sighs> Bruh. Okay, so how far away is she from me now? What? 40 feet? 30 feet? Is she grappled? She's not no. grappled. Okay. Well... I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna run right up on her. And grapple her again. Okay. Strength or athletics versus her strength or athletics. Ooh. Oof. Twirly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This time you grab the wrist and she just rotates and kind of shoves you as you go to try and grab it. Um. Shut. That was an action. I used my movement. I'm going to use my bonus action to regain some hit points, and then I will end my turn. Okay. Alyssa. You watch as Morn advance towards you in an aggressive manner, and then Cash just bamfing around the map, stabbing everybody but you. Mar Mar as as is speed around. hacking! What the fuck?! <laughs> Lauren got distracted by Kaz and is looking the other way on your turn. I'm not going to trust that for a hot minute. Uh, I'm going to continue to back away. Um, About gonna... 25 to 30 feet behind you, the hallway stops. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. I'll just back up to the wall then, and, uh... I'll take the, uh, the dodge action. Okay. More. She's about 45 feet from you now. 40, 45 feet. Yeah, I'm gonna look at Freya and be like, I'll hold, I'll, I'll hold Cass. Go after Alyssa. And I'll kind of look down the hallway. Um, and I will attempt to um, grapple Kaz. Okay. And I'm still raging, so I have advantage on this. I thought you didn't rage. Last turn I did rage. That's how I got six. Oh, oh, I got you. You're right. That's all I did. Yeah. Okay, your strength or athletics versus <laughs> Kaz's strength or athletics. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't beat it. Come on, not 20. I'll, I'll oh, that's actually pretty yeah. good. Yeah. I'll try and restrain with my extra attack. Okay. So that's a uh, 21. Yeah. Not only did Morn grab you and pull you in, he now has you in almost a chokehold. Alwyn. Gonna move up on the other side and I wanna hold uh, a spell casting until the ghost pops out. If it does so. Okay. 
so technically <laughs> to hold a spell. Like bobbing your head. To hold a casted spell, you do have to use the spell slot to have it ready. Yep. That's usually. Oh yeah. Well, uh It'll be uh And regardless of whether you use it or not, next turn it'll be gone. Yeah. Is that your turn? Mm hmm. Kaz. I don't know what to do anymore. Um. I'm really considering. I don't want to do that. Okay. I'm going to cast I need the three of you to make a dexterity saving throw. Ugh. I, I can't fail fail. Effect. I don't I don't know honestly. Well, I I choose to succeed. You, you okay. <laughs> yeah, we do have a plus 2 to all saves. I don't know if that's where my thing comes from. That might be it. With my aura. Uh, that's that's okay. a, a, a seven. A seventeen won't save either. Kill them all. <gasps> so Freya and Alwyn will take forty-eight uh, lightning. Morn will take half uh, from from chain lightning spell. <gasps> and. I can't move, right? <clears throat> no, you're restrained. Nope, you're restrained. But I will... Um, I'll use a bonus... I mean, uh, yeah, bonus action to Firebolt Freya. Oh, fucking shit. I've got, like, no Are health you, left. You're quick in spelling? Yeah. Damn. <gasps> uh, the hits. 18 uh, hits. Uh, well, I can... Low damage, low damage, low damage, low damage. Low damage. I haven't low used damage. my reaction yet. <laughs> Fuck you, Corey. What are you? Whose team are you on here? Does it work for spell attacks? Hits a target and then attack. Yeah, I can do it whenever it's hit a target within five feet of me is hit with an attack. So I could reduce this potentially. I mean, to hopefully. Hopefully, it just needs to be slow. Low roll damage, low roll. Reduced It'll be by reduced 11. by 11. Are, are you that low, Freya? <laughs> get, get, give us the drama. I, what do you have? I would have been dead, but I did do the second wind. I've got 10 HP left. So 21 will do it. Uh, 17 minus 11. So only six. Only? That's a lot when you only have 10 health left. I think that's all I can do. Body sparks energy as you watch as all of a sudden just and like weaves through all of you guys just arcing your backs and your joints and your muscles. Immediately thereafter, stares directly at Freya, and a flash of vibrant fire energy rains out. All one once again, just barely getting the shield up, 
as it ricochets and hits the shoulders of Freya. Freya looking I, real I really, bad. I really thought for a moment I was just going to do like a seventh level fireball and just take the damage myself. Uh, I, I guess Dex save, see if I get half and then I'll take half also. But you wouldn't uh, be able to do that because you're restrained. Yep. Or would oh, you true. Disadvantage. I don't. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. You're at least at disadvantage oh, while restrained. So I was. I was really thinking about just eating the damage myself and nuking and it. Hit, yeah, but decided not to. Is that your turn, Kaz? Yep. Freya. <laughs> you are huffing and just like spitting blood. Uh, I am immediately going to take a greater healing potion. Nice. Regain 19. Nice. <laughs> you you were one away from max heal on that. <sighs> nice. Good soup. Glory. Coward. <laughs> Coward. Just trying to save my skin. Um... Oh, uh, wait a minute. That's a good point, Clown. Do I have that? Continue. Oh, Fair. sorry. Um. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Aura of Warding. Me and friendly creatures within 10 feet have resistance to damage from spells. So we would have only taken half from that lightning damage. And Freya would also only take half from the firebolt. Forgot about that. Uh, so Thank the... you, Pond. How much was the? It was forty-eight, right? For the. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Sweet. So I'm gonna add some more health then. Yeah. And you only took six. So three fire damage. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing much better now. Um. Uh, do you still want to use the potion? It... Just something to think about. Probably not a bad idea. Yeah, because I'm still not super. I'm still low-ish without it. And knowing how hard you hit, I'll go ahead and just say I'm gonna. I'll. I'll keep. Yeah, I'll have taken that potion. Um. Yes, Corey, they do. Unfortunately. <laughs> do they count as allies? No matter how much you'd like to turn us against each other. Um, God, Frosty and Corey would get along really well in a campaign. Just what kind of chaos you guys can stir up, I swear. I don't know, I might have room next campaign. God. <laughs> okay, I don't, so... I don't think a certain somebody's coming back, so... You don't think Jay? Oh, never mind. Uh, I don't know. What's his name? Uh, uh, we allow Jews. Just to be clear. You good with having ten players next campaign, Ginge? Ten players. Are you ready to handle the chaos? Two, three, four, five. If something like that was gonna happen, I would just run a, a six. Why would I do ten? Party. Four, five, six. It'd be seven. Everyone in the stream gets a character. Nope. <laughs> they could have an NPC. Good. It'd be kind of fun. Maybe. I don't know how fun that would be for you. Or mm -hmm. me, potentially. Um, since Morn had shouted at me to go after Alyssa, and since Kaz is just, you know, focus firing me, um, I am going to head down the hallway 30 feet. Do I see Alyssa? Yeah, up against the wall, like, just literally, like, like, confused, baffled, hands up, like, just looking for an exit. I'm just gonna be pointing... I'm not gonna shoot at her. Um, I'm gonna have my bow up 
with an arrow notched in it. I'll take my attack if she's leaving. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Technically, yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, <laughs> yeah. you're restrained. If you're restrained, do you get a do you get an attack? Yeah, at disadvantage. Okay. Do your worst, Kez. I don't know. I'll have to be fucking knack for well. you. <laughs> the maple kind, yeah. Uh, zero speed. Okay. What yep. was in there? Uh, so disadvantage, right? Fuck it. What else am I going to use my reaction for? Oh my god, don't type the whole thing. Just give me the... Oh, damn. Oh, Jesus. Hex. Okay, my god. Jeez. I'll just do it like this. That's not a paragraph, that's a book. Kaz casted a wall of text. Only. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Is a 20 hit for you? Yes. Why is this thing not... Uh, 13 bludgeoning. <laughs> As you walk by, just... Thwack! On the back of your head. <laughs> just, a, just a walking stick, really, that I've never used as a weapon. <laughs> just... <laughs> Flailing around and just womps you as you walk by. Good God! I, I don't know that I've ever taken an opportunity attack before. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Nothing's ever haven't. in melee range for you. Yeah, that was a great first time, Cass. Yeah, that was actually a pretty good fucking first time for. I'm a like, mate. shit, I'm gonna do this a lot. <laughs> You're fully grappled by Morin trying to attack Freya, who's almost dead. <laughs> and then shield and and counter spells. I think the only reactions I've ever done. I'll, like, uh, as I'm walking away and that happened, I'll kind of, like, look over my shoulder at her and make, like, a face. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, and, like, like like where she hit you, like a, like, a trickle of blood now is running down the side of your head. And you're just like, the shit. <laughs> but you've backed Alyssa into the corner and she's, like, like, searching the wall and, like, hands up and, like, turns around and looks at you. Um, so, looking at Alyssa, do you have anything to do with any of this? Like I said, I, before, I have no idea what's going on. I was preoccupied. Can you prove it? How would that's you gonna like be your, to do that? <laughs> that's going to be your action. Oh, we can't have a conversation? No. God. You're in. You're in combat. If if that's what you want to do, that's your action. Can I take a bonus action to say something else? Yes. <laughs> bonus action. Quick, fuck you as a bonus action. <laughs> okay, so my my action was. Do you have anything to do with this? She responded. My bonus yep. action is going to be. Is there anything you can do to help then? You've dealt with this before. How do we force it out of her? That's your turn. <laughs> Alyssa. I'll move right here. Um, more to 15 feet. Um, and then I'll um, say um, very quickly, 
No, I'll just fucking do it. Uh, I'll cast Mold Earth. And I can choose any 5 foot cube of dirt or stone that I see within range. So, I'm going to choose the one that Kaz is directly under. And I'm going to instantly excavate it and move it to the north so that she drops down into a hole. Ooh. Morn is grappling her, though. Is it loose earth that's below Kaz? Uh, no. It's all, remember, it's that like marble. Oh, right. Yeah, like, car the walls... And the floor is carved marble. The ceiling is dirt, though. Weirdly enough. I don't know if I want to drop a block of dirt on Kev's head. <laughs> oh. Well, she wouldn't drop down anyways because Morn is fully holding her. Yeah, that's a good point. I'll rescind that then, and I'll just move back here, and I'll just wait for Freya's answer to my question. You know, how do you, how do we force it out of her? And I'll pass turn. If you want, you can use your action to have that conversation now, because she'd use her actions to do that. Yeah, I'll do some. Okay. Okay, so you ended with asking, "How did we do it last time?" You've yes. dealt with this before. How exactly do we force it out of her? I don't know. It seemed like. When we incapacitated the vessel, so to speak, it left. Alright, and that'll be my turn. Born. Okay, seeing that holding her in place uh, is not... Um, working Morn has another idea to get a ghost out of somebody that makes sense to him um he's gonna take out his big horn and blast it directly into Kaz's ear <laughs> oh no <laughs> you want to try to scare the shit out of her <laughs> I have a horn do you really <laughs> horn of blast them <gasps> oh <laughs> right in her ear hold I forgot I gave that to you Hit him with I have to look that up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um so you're gonna you're gonna So you have to speak the horn's command word. Which you would have created. Yep. Okay. And then each creature. Yeah, <laughs> Hold on. In a 30 foot cone that is audible 600 feet away. So Alwyn's going to be right in that path. Okay. So Alwyn's going to have to make a con save as well. Con, uh, so Kaz and Alwyn make con saves. So Kaz succeeds. Alwyn. Make a con save. Okay, so you save as well. So you, so you guys take both 11. take. You guys take eleven yeah. points of blasting. You're not deafened. And then, ah, uh, roll a percentile dice, Warren. I think that's how you do this.
Okay. So that's, you're good. So what is the command word as you take a deep breath in and release one arm and like hold the horn right to her face? Um, what horn I've picked? Basroda! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I feel like Mora would have just let out like a good old roar. Like not even barely even a command word. More like a command sound. As he just This command him. word though. <sighs> <sighs> okay, if it needs to be a word. He does a greet uh grito. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just have it be bear. Okay. Easy enough. As this horn, this almost lion-ish looking mouth and body horn comes out, he like jams it into the sides of Kaz's face, point pointing it in the direction of all and all when your eyes just go like bright. Cause you're just like, what's going on? And then all of a sudden you hear Bear and just and like this like like a massive like energy wave comes in your direction and for a second you feel like your ears are going to shatter I hope I could only hope that was him using the horn <laughs> yeah. Uh, is that your turn, Morn? Uh, yeah. Owen. Hmm. Black Sabbath. Yes. I, I, I'm gonna assume that Owen doesn't have turn undead. No, I don't. I have turned to Faithless, but that only works on Fae or uh. Fiends. Yeah, I have Nature's Wrath, which lets me possibly restrain a creature if it fails a DC 15 strength deck save. Or I can turn the faithless, which is yeah. Okay, guys, you need a con save, I guess. I'm taking damage. Well, you have literally plus ten anyway, so you can't fail that. I don't know. I'm just gonna go for some unarmed strikes and try to. Beat the ghost out of Kaz. <laughs> Beat the evil out of you. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Okay, point two. Yeah. Kaz? Yes. For sure. Sorry. A six. All right. Well, it doesn't seem to have much effect, so I'm gonna try it again. The Holy Ghost compels. The Holy Ghost compels you. The Holy Ghost compels you. <laughs> and I'm gonna add a smite to it this time. Oh, baby. So, an extra seven. Ouch. And that's radiant. What was the the strike damage? Bludgeoning. No, I mean, how much was it? The second one. Six. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. I, oh, I, oh, I, oh! It's, it's like, not I didn't, two. No, five. I didn't. Okay. Yeah. It's it's six both times because it's one plus my strength. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, it's just a uh, twelve plus seven. Yeah. 
Nineteen. Okay. As Alwyn just steps up and grabs you by the collar and just starts pummeling your face. I would say it's more of a, like... Love taps? No. Like, whack, whack. Like, with a gauntleted hand, you know? <clears throat> Kaz, your turn. I think... Like, wake the fuck up! Let's see if I still have a spell for this. There's only... <laughs> I... Me, the player, is going to feel bad. Um, the only way I know how to get out of this uh, grapple is to teleport. And there's only one way I know how to teleport without taking a minute to draw some chalk on the floor. So I'm going to do Steel One Strike again. I can hit everyone except Alyssa, who's out of range. So I'm going to go to... Let's, let's do all in first. Mine more than you and me. She's a miss. Yeah. Shield. I see it coming. Um, then I will go to Freya. 22. Else? And 39. Oh, I'm down. Oh. Then I will go to Morn. 15 miss. 15 misses. <laughs> you could have picked somebody else for that 22 you had to pick me i know i, I even <laughs> the thought the lowest in my head, ac I, of the three i even thought i'm gonna go freya last to make it dramatic and then i was like no because that doesn't make sense because i want to sort of teleport there and back uh what are the so, odds? another so, dagger drops out of kaz's coat and in midair she like kicks the dagger towards Alwyn and all of a sudden is in like in front of the dagger and like jabs at you and you just manage to like shield an arm quickly and as she as you dodge it and you go to like like rebuttal she's gone and all of a sudden you look up and she's standing on top of Freya pulling the dagger out of the shoulder and Freya just slumps and drops face first she turns and chucks the dagger end over end and as you pay attention to the dagger more you stand and brace and as you brace you put the axe up and like right at the last second as the dagger right before it appears towards you all of a sudden cash just <laughs> appears in like, front of you and tries to dag down should be in front of Morn then cash you can go to anybody uh you can at the at the end of the spell, you can get within five feet of anyone that you hit or miss. Uh, yeah. Spell. So I'm, I'm, I specifically don't want to be next to Morn uh, <laughs> For because good reason. Morn didn't let me leave last time. So yeah. I want to finish on this side of Alwyn, and then I will use my movement to get thirty feet away. Okay. So as you appear in front of the dagger and you try to jab at Morn's throat, Morn, you just quick throw with the axe and like bamf her off in the middle of the air and as you go to swing at her she just disappears and all of a sudden is standing beside Alwyn and then turns to run. Alwyn I believe you already used your reaction. Yeah I... Yep. Well, so, is it the same turn? I'm pretty sure it's the same turn. Uh, No because you went no. you're directly before me. <laughs> yeah so you actually would have just gotten it back. Yep. All yeah. in, Kaz. Yep. So I can make an opportunity attack. Correct. I will do so. This time with the sword. It's hit. Please don't kill me. <laughs> you killed me. I have to be fe fearful for my life because you might strike me down. You I know that Alwyn would not finish you. You'll be all right. 
go for two hander this time. Fuck. <laughs> Eight. Yep. Um. And I will. I'll use my bonus action to sprout my wings and get up in the air as well. Okay. Just menacing Kaz at the end of like this tunnel, just floating in the air. Freya. Yes. As the light fades and you feel this like loss of motion on the body, you fall to your two knees and you look up at Alyssa confused and then the world just goes black and you face first into the marble. Roll me a death saving throw. And what is the last thing that you think about as you blank out? Uh, I'm going to think about how Kaz is probably going to wreak fiery death on everybody and we're all going to die. Because we don't know how to stop it. Oh, fucking that one. That's a fail. Two fails. Oh, no. That's two fails. What? Yeah, that one. that one works. That's a nat one. That's nat a, one is two that's fails. A big oh, fail. is you shit. come back immediately with one HP. Oh, fuck yep. that. As you hit the ground, the head connects to the marble. And just a ungodly crunch sound as the marble pools in blood. Alyssa. As you watch Freya to the knees and then just into the marble and the blood pools out. And we're not talking like a little bit. We're talking a decent amount of blood pools around her head and chest and spreads out. I'll move forward 20 feet and I'll use an action Point. to stabilize her. I have a plus nine to medicine, so I literally can't fail the check. So she's stabilized. Yep. And then I will you move. immediately slide next to her and just like pull out what bandages and like anything you can get your hand on to stop bleeding, and you just start patting and and applying pressure wherever you can to staunch the bleeding. Is that how many hit points I get, or is that just your medicine check? No, she stops you from losing any more. Like you're unconscious at zero HP, but oh, you don't have to make death saves anymore. Oh, sweet. yeah. Okay. Yeah. She literally stopped you from dying. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'll sort of like prop her up against the wall in a sort of recovery position, and then I'll move twenty feet back again, and uh, that'll be all. Do I still technically have two failed saves? So if yeah. if I were to get attacked again. Oh. It would render you unstable. Wow, that's fucked. Morn. <clears throat> you watch Freya go down, hit the marble, and just pool blood. And immediately, without any hesitation, you watch Alyssa slide in and begin to pack wounds, kind of staring at you the whole time and like like stopping things, bandaging, making sure things are tight. And then she kind of scoots her close to the wall and like rotates her onto her side in like a recovery position and then like just backs up. Um, Morn kind of like briefly closes his eyes, um, takes a deep breath. Um, ends his rage and just kind of gently not gently but very commanding towards the direction of the hallway just says save her or I will spend the rest of my life hunting you down and as I say that I'm gonna um, I am gonna cast a healing word as a bonus action because I've ended my rage um, so she heals Freya heals for 6 HP Nice. You are conscious with six hit points. It's all cool. 
Um, and then I will spend 40 feet of movement <clears throat> to get directly below Kaz. And how high up in the air are you? About 20 feet. Okay. Well, uh, depends if he went to the ceiling. Yeah, I'd go as high as I can. Yeah. There's a 22 hit. Yep. Okay. I cast Thorn Whip up at um, Kaz. And I will pull Kaz 10 feet closer to me. Wicked smart. Now in melee range. And you take d6 piercing damage. So, two piercing damage. Okay. And that will end my turn. Does it, uh, the thorn whip, does that render you restrained when it hits? No, no just, it it's just a pull effect. effect. Oh, got it. It's just a pull. Yep. All win. Just a bit of a pull. All win. <laughs> Seeing that this situation seems to be in order for the moment. I'll turn my full focus to Kaz. Let's see. Yeah. I don't think I can do it if they're on the ground. Uh, it should yeah. still be about 10 feet up if you're trying to do something to an airborne thing. It says within 10 feet of me I can do this. If Kaz is only 10 feet up, can I do that? Yeah. Okay. Kaz, make a dex save. Or a strength or dex save. I'll do it. <laughs> By a lot. Well, Kaz is still within 10 feet of me, and I still have my uh, my what is it? Where the fuck is it? I'm sorry, I have to say Somewhere. something. This, like, to kill a god, epic battle, dark, heroic music is B.A. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm just dumb digging this. Yes. Uh, my. Um. Can help. Uh, I'll pin it. Oh, yeah. My spirit shroud. Oh, yeah. My spirit shroud is still up, so I'm going to reduce Kaz's speed by 10 feet. Okay. Good move. I'll have, like, some of my ghostly figures sort of grab you a little bit. Is that your turn? Mm-hmm. Kaz. You watch as these individuals advance towards you, and all you can think about is escape and murder. Like, your body is just being controlled, and you don't know what it's doing. Hmm. <laughs> How far is this one? It's pretty <gasps> oh, um, At least I don't have what? two failed death staves anymore. Fuck. I don't. Uh, 
I, I, I'm really running short of spells here. Put her down. Put her down. Put her down. Cute. I'm back to and three. I, 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 I wouldn't to get close to, to move. I wouldn't. I wouldn't survive the opportunity no. attacks. I don't think. Um. Okay. Wait, is this? Okay. I will. No, I'm not going to do that. I still have stars left. I am going to just. Leave Freya the hell alone is what you're gonna do. Cast Firebolt on Alwyn. A 30. That'll hit. That's 27 fire. It's half of that because I have resistance from Aura of Warding. And then I'm going to throw a star 14? at you as well. 20. Okay. That just beats my AC. Or about it meets it. 29, 29 radiant. So half of 27, 14, and half of 29. Uh, half of 29 is 14. Half of 27 should be 13. Okay. So, so 27 after the half. Yep. Ow. And then... I can move, right? The, the thorns didn't restrain me, right? They just pulled no. me. No. Nope, they just pulled you. Yeah. Um, but you're but within... You have 10... You have 10 yeah. movement speed less. And you're within both of their striking range. Uh -oh. Both but Owen and wait. Morn will get an attack of opportunity. But if I'm 10 feet up, I should be out of melee for them. Uh, maybe for Owen. I don't think so for Morn. Oh, Morn has some reach? I think so. Um, I, I don't know that would Kaz know that? I don't have reach, but you, yeah, Morn's like seven feet tall. You're about three feet away from him. So just, just the concept is sort of silly. <laughs> He's just looking at you. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna do it. Attack of opportunity, Morn. You're going nowhere. Oh, oh, I forgot. You can't even move. <laughs> okay. Roll for damage. That's going to hurt. This is the whole reason I didn't want to do it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, I can, I can that. Oh. I re-roll once. So, 16. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put this in... Uh... Put this in Discord. Oh, <laughs> on the dot. So, as Kaz finishes casting all of the spells and turns in like one big whoosh of feathers, Morn grabs hold of like the base because you grow wings, right? Yes. Okay. So you grab hold of like literally one of the wings, like where the base attaches to the back of the the um of the like the spine, and you just pick the axe up and just whack like right on the back of the head, spine, back area, and catch just pancakes into the ground. And immediately after that. <laughs> It, like, stands up out of the back of Kaz and stares at you. 
so I will roll and see what shit is. Okay. Freya. Um. Can I see that Kaz went down? Oh, perception check. Just barely. Um. I will, in that case. How far away is that actually? I'll just use 30 of my movement. Where was it? Oh shit, I forgot where it was. Whatever. You're fine. I think it was about yeah, that. Yeah, that was the spot. Was it? Yep. It's so easy to lose track of it as you're moving around. Yep. That's just not my main maps. <laughs> and, um... Now that I'm a little bit closer and I can see that she's definitely down, I'm going to sit on the ground and just wait for... I basically just passed my turn. Wait for whatever is happening. Okay, well the ghost specter is standing over her. Oh, I didn't know that. Never mind, I would not sit yeah. down then. Yeah. So with the ghost specter being over her, I would shoot at it. Put one through where his heart used yeah. to be. So with that, uh, let me make sure I have slot. Shot, shot, shot for Zephyr Strike. Hold the phone. Uh, I get advantage on one weapon of attack on my turn. Duh. No, I think I'm also going to use my feet. Which okay. will impose a negative 5 penalty to a t to attack. Grab a shooter. Hits. 15. 15? Misses. The second one is 15, yeah. Yeah, that one I'm going to roll advantage on that. Miss. Yep. And then I'm going to roll again. Wait, no, that's advantage. Hold the phone. If you're using the Zephyr Strike, you get an advantage. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's what the 18 was. Um, oh. I can't use that, damn it. So I think I just have to take that. Okay, so you said the first one hits though, right? Yes. So it's plus 10 already, and then plus 1d8. So 16, and plus an additional 8 to Das Phantom. 24. Das Phantom. Das Phantom. Okay. You notch the arrow, and you let one loose, and it goes through the body, and it stares at you as you notch the second you fire. This one kind of makes contact, but passes through. But for the moment it passes through, it kind of slows for a second and then goes through. You look like you did a little damage. A little damage? You did a nice little damage. A nice little damage. Is that your turn? Um, yes, because I use my movement, my attack, and bonus. Yes, that'll be my turn. Alyssa. Okay. Um.
I'll move. What was it again? 45 feet down. Move 45 feet down here, and I'll make two elemental strikes at the ghost. They will be at long range, so they will be at disadvantage. Okay. Because my long range is 60 feet. 1621. Miss. Hit. Uh, it's only 35 feet away from you. My long range, my short range is 20, my long range is 60. Oh, I, I misunderstood, sorry. Yeah. So beyond 60, you can't hit. So, 17 thunder, and... I'll throw in an elemental blast. I mean... Now. Before you do that, how would you okay. like to do it? It had like four hit points. Okay. <laughs> so very Avatar-esque, she just puts a fist forward and a blast of air goes towards it. Very airbendy style. Okay. As you loose the arrows and it still stands, you feel a little defeated and you just hear clack, 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 clack. And... <laughs> Kind of like, um, like Chinese ish, where she's got her hands in like the coats, like in her, like in her inner sleeve. She like pulls one out and just kind of like, and then you just watch as the creature like looks up, and a rush of air swirls and then just, and it just dissolves, and like almost like a, like a sonic boom, just a, in the area. Sonic boom! Sonic boom! Guys, you're up at 5 HP. That'll be my turn. And I guess combat's even over. But... Is it though? I don't know. Yeah. Combat's over. You say these things, you're gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> well, that was, that was, that was close. Who knew I could wreak so much hammock with, havoc with two ghosts? Hammock. Hammock. I even went after the guy with a high charisma. I'm gonna need a hammock here. I know. What, what, what's the, what was the save? 18. Yeah, so I only needed to roll like a four two or more. above. Mm -hmm. because what's, your, what's your charisma save bonus? A lot. Uh, plus 12. Yeah, oh, I did damn. not, oh, so I I did not than, expect that. It's more than me. I only have a plus nine. I had something completely different planned because I thought that was just going to be like a over and then like something else. And that ended up turning into like an hour and a half. What a time for a nat one. Hey, you did some fucking work. I think you were even almost scarier than Morn and Freya. I don't know. Well, it, if... well, yeah, because because with when Kaz was hit herself, we had an easy button to get rid of the ghost. <laughs> at at least one of them. At yeah, least we're one trying of them, yeah. not to hit Kaz as well. Yeah, true. That's true. Uh, but I, all, my only damage came from Sentinel. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think if I could have if I could have got distance and airborne immediately. I would have yeah. been it much been better because because then I could have been clear and fireballed oh. them for three turns in a row and hit every single person. <laughs> could I you was, imagine I was not... just raining hell? Yeah, I, I was not. I, I didn't strategize as, the, as I maybe should have the first hey. couple turns. You're not in your right mind, but that, so but that's honestly, okay. Yeah, yeah. Dude, the I mean, ghost yeah, might not like also it. necessarily yeah. have been a spellcaster, so it might not have known how best to use the spell. Correct. Correct. Narratively, it, it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So, combat is ended. <laughs> Kaz, you kind of like roll over onto your back, and you just are like, "Fuck." <laughs> Head hurts. Body hurts. Nothing makes sense. Hmm. I may patch up a few more of those wounds. And I'll put the last of my uh, 
Way on hands pool into Kaz. Okay. So you get 10 HP back. I will not complain. As you roll over, gather yourself. As he can, as he pumps some more healing into you, and some of your wounds close. Freya, you're limping along. Just beat the piss. Mourn, little, 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 little bit, little beat up. You got, you got a hole in your back. Where you're... I don't no. really look hurt, um, but I do walk over to Freya. My eyes is kind of, kind of looking at Alyssa, um, but at this point, Morn doesn't look mad. He just looks kind of like emotionally drained um oh. not physically hurt but just like he just doesn't want to be doing this anymore he can barely get over to freya um, freya you get an extra 16. thank you happy to see her alive and he just is kind of ignoring Alyssa because he knows that Alyssa could have killed her yep and she also kind of looks like she backed like down the hallway and she's just not hands up but she's just kind of very complacent well, right now, kind of once up. everything has died down, she uh, she sounds to this sort of cross-legged pose and starts going into this like meditative state. It looks like she's taking a minute to cast something. Okay. The room is calmed down. Jason's leaned up against one of the walls, completely bruised and beat up. Alwyn is kind of doing a little patchwork here and there with some people. Yeah, Cash just, getting, just kinda... getting the real serious wounds closed and trying Medic. to clean the rest of them to avoid infection. Medic. Kaz is leaning up against the wall, like we're like Medic. there's there's like it's like small pools of blood on the ground next to her. These just... these two are spamming E, just like Doctor Medic. Doctor <laughs> Medic. Doctor need Doctor. Healing. I I need healing. Just tell me when a minute's passed. We'll say between them healing and doing things, a minute goes by quickly. So once it does, you see in like a semicircle around her, sort of forming out of the ground, these balls of mud appear, and they start to coagulate and form into these weird creatures, these impish little devils, uh, as she summons eight mud methods. These are... Um, Basically, imps of the elemental planes, very trickster, prankster-like people. They like going over to the to the material plane and just playing all sorts of uh, pranks on people. At least when they're not under the command of a spell, they rise out of the ground um, about probably like the size of maybe like house cats, maybe a little bit smaller. So she summons them up, and uh, they're all making these like snickering sounds. <laughs> And uh, she starts to communicate with them in Primordial, and she says, um, A thunderous blast just sounded out. It's going to be audible about 600 feet, tenth of a mile. I want you guys to go out there and look and see if anybody has noticed us and if anybody is coming this way. And if you spot anything, report back to me. If you can't report back to me, then you know what to do. Because they have this ability where if they remain motionless, they are indistinguishable from an ordinary mound of mud. So they can't be seen as long as they don't... Nobody surprises them or gets the jump kinda, on them. Kind of like how blights can just be bushes until they move. Yeah, so as long as nobody gets the jump on them, they shouldn't be found. So she says, spread out, go figure, you know, go get me some information. About ten minutes pass, if that, and they come flying back. And they report to you that both ends of the hallways are closed off. They're just Lauren a wall. No... Morn stands up and slowly walks over to you, Alyssa. How, How did you talk like that? I... I... I know what you said, but it's nothing I've heard before. It's ordinary speech among the elemental planes. Uh, I... There's four different dialects depending on which one you're in, but uh, the father language uh, governs all of them. If you speak one, then you can speak any of the other three. There might be some slang that you don't understand, but... I don't think I could speak it, but I could understand it. That's good. Why? 
while I was in the elemental planes, you kind of had to learn the language to speak with anyone. <laughs> why, why can I, why do I know it? She gives you a quizzical look and says, I, I don't know. Morn looks she, like baffled and walks back towards Freya. She looks over and pinches one of the methods on the nose and good work. Would but um Freya probably would just exhausted at this point, probably just sit down on the ground and try and take another short rest. Much needed. Okay. Anybody else doing anything? Is that door still here? Yeah. Literally directly across from you. Well, I don't have the spell up anymore, and I, I don't have the charges to cast it again. But I say we go through the door, take a rest on the other side. Before another, if a, if a ghost comes back, we're gonna die. Martin's keeping an eye on those demons that Alyssa just summoned. Only if they take you over, Kaz. They're sort of fluttering around next to her. Probably pairs of them have grouped off and they're having mud ball fights. Oh, can I take them <laughs> home? Can we um, keep it, Mom? <laughs> as you sit down to rest and gather your senses, Alyssa, you kind of look across at the large oak door and you guys just ponder yourself how you got your asses kicked and just Nursing your pride and your wounds. That's where we'll end tonight. So we can all get a nice, good night's rest. You that was not at all what I intended. It never is. <laughs> that was that was actually pretty good. That's pretty the, good. The dice have a habit of uh, flaunting oh, yeah. DM intentions. Join us next, I was next fine week with it. for another episode of Ginger's Playground. <laughs> not really. It was um, not Ginger's playground. <laughs> not really. Actually, it was Kaz's. Um, yeah. yeah. Vote. Uh, are we? Do you guys want to do next week with uh, Thanksgiving? I'm game. I should be available Wednesday night unless something happens. I can let you guys all know. But I'm. I'm. I'm available. Me too. Yeah. Three. I'm available. I'm available. Four. Five. I'm a. I'm a maybe. Okay, no worries, I'll Cass. See. Yeah, we'll play it by ear, man. Yeah, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Yeah, we just take a break off. Um, So, we'll see you guys all hopefully next Wednesday. If not, plan for the Wednesday after that, and we'll just take a hiatus for after Thanksgiving. So, thank you for coming, and uh, welcome to Cass's Playground. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us this week. Also known as D -d -d Dungeon Crawlers. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yes, maybe we'll see you next week. Maybe not. But if we don't, everybody have a great Thanksgiving and have a great weekend. And we'll see you again very soon. Thank you Bye, for tuning in you. to tonight's Bye. broadcast. Uh, have a good one. D -d 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 dungeon Crawlers. Bye-bye. Dungeon Crawlers. Uh-huh, bye-bye now, bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye now, bye-bye.